Last year, Best Buy collected over 80 million pounds of electronics for recycling. That's a lot of e-waste. Over 300 pounds for every minute we're open. So you're probably wondering, what happens with all of that old technology after you drop it off? Well, let's take a look. The recycling process is different, of course, depending on the item. But for this example, we'll use this old desktop computer. After you say your last goodbyes, we take it in back, package it up with some old friends, and ship it to a recycler. But not just any recycler. Best Buy only works with companies who adhere to our strict recycling standards. That way, the e-waste gets processed safely and responsibly and not simply exported to developing countries. Once that old computer arrives at the recycler, it gets sorted into the various waste streams. The keyboard is easy. It heads straight for the shredder. Recycling the rest is a little more complicated. Let's start with the computer unit or CPU. Because it contains a hard drive, special care is taken to ensure data privacy. First, the hard drive is removed from the CPU. Next, they hook up the drive and erase all the data. But for added security, every drive is snapped with a hole punch to destroy it. Then it's off to the shredder for further destruction, along with the rest of the CPU. The shredder is super high tech. It uses sophisticated techniques to separate the steel, aluminum, and precious metals from the plastic. Monitors need to be separated by hand. That means power tools and a little brute force. First, it's off with the plastic cover and the metal shield. Then they pop out the circuit boards and strip the wiring. All of the various materials get sorted. That leaves the bare cathode ray tube, or CRT. It gets carted away for processing. The tube gets placed on the conveyor, hauled up to the crusher. A hammer mill crushes the glass into five to eight inch pieces. Now the glass still needs to be cleaned, so it goes to the state of the art cleaning unit, which does its work without water or toxic chemicals. The glass is ground together and large vacuums remove the debris. Now that it's clean, the glass is ready for the smelter. And that's it. What once was a computer is now several different commodities ready to be used again. What gets made with these recycled materials? The plastic can become park benches or playground equipment. Aluminum might become ladders, auto parts, furniture, you name it. Steel can be made into appliances, bridges, tons of stuff. Circuit boards, they're a good source of precious metals. And old lithium ion batteries contain cobalt and iron, which can be used to make new batteries. So there's a behind the scenes look at the world of e-waste. By the way, we're taking the lead on this and consumers recycle more electronics with us than with any other retailer. To learn more about our recycling program and what we'll take, which is pretty much anything electronic, check out bestbuy.com slash recycling. And remember, we don't care where you bought it. When the time comes to retire it, bring it to us. We'll make sure it's recycled right.